Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. You say hi? Hi. Little man did not sleep last night. He woke up, of course, for his 12.30 antibiotic overnight. And he was just fighting sleep until 2. And then finally he was up 2 to 3. And then he was up at 3.30 and 4 and 5.50. You know, just one of those nights, right? So mama's a little cranky this morning with you, huh? We're both a little crabby. And then I come downstairs and Gio said it's time to put the tree away. And that made me sad. I, I like looking at all the lights. But he's right. It's time. You know, it's like you love having the decoration up. But then also it just comes to a point where you're like, okay, having it gone. That's kind of where we're at. Hi, beautiful boy. Look at the way he holds his hands. <laughs> you like a little old man. Sebastian is doing really, really good. He had a follow-up with cardiology on Friday that went really good. He said that his heart is looking good, and he hopefully, if everything goes as planned by God and nature, <laughs> he shouldn't need another heart surgery for like five to six years. Look at him just falling asleep. I bet you want to sleep now. We got to do medicine right now first. But yeah, I took a couple quick little videos at the cardiologist I'll post. I'm not too happy about being here. Oh, you were pretty mean to the nurse. Stay here. <laughs> oh, hey. come over here. <laughs> I just wanted my dad. I want to get out of this hospital. <laughs> just waiting for the doctor. He's like, I'll hold your hand, but you cannot check my pulse. <laughs> um, but he did good, and he's doing good so far. They took him off the Lasix. They said that he doesn't necessarily have to take the Pepsid. He was never taking Pepsid before, so I don't know where that came from. Maybe just trying to help settle his belly. Uh, so he's off two medication, which is really good. Look at him. <laughs> Does that feel nice? Where are you going? By the way, he weighs 17 pounds. 17 pounds? Thank the Lord. That's good weight. He was 14 pounds for like two and a half years. I think that heart is working good, huh? Yeah, don't chew on your pajamas. No, if you want to chew on something, you can chew on this. Here, there you go. <laughs> All right, I gotta get his meds. If you couldn't tell already by how cranky I kind of sound in this video, I literally, what is this? I think I still have makeup under my eyes from like yesterday. I went to bed with my makeup on. It's just not. But anyway, I'm, I'm doing Sebastian's medications right now. And it made me think, it reminded me, when we went to his appointment on Wednesday, or on Friday for um, cardiology, they did an echo on his heart. Heart is looking great. The heart is looking so great that there's actually no infection in there. All of these like meds that we're doing, these antibiotics, is all preventative treatment, which is fine. Like I'm all for being proactive. And he did have a staph infection and, and it was in his bloodstream. But the difference between like having an infection in your bloodstream and having endocarditis, which is an infection in your heart, is basically all that bacteria make, causes like a bundle of bacteria and it lands in your heart. And that's when it starts causing issues. And right now at this time, there are no bundles of bacteria on his heart. I think I'm just cranky and that's why I'm bringing this up. But Sebastian technically doesn't have endocarditis right now, as far as I, as far as I understood. This is just like, like she literally said on Friday, we're just having these me medications as a precaution, which is fine again, like I said, but it's just so exhausting. And again, this is just our lives. Like I'll, I'll do whatever, but like these medications administering three times a day, most more specifically the one that's overnight, like the one that's at midnight, because every single night it wakes him up and he's up for like two or three hours and he can't go back to bed. And there's just no way around, like he needs that med at that time. It's just his schedule. 
But there's like just a tiny part of me that's human. And I kind of like want to like, he doesn't even have an infection. <laughs> I'm being very selfish because that's not to say that when we went home a couple of weeks ago, it's not to say that that could have turned into infection. That bacteria that was in his blood from the staph infection from his scar could have went further into his bloodstream and made a home on his heart, which is the reason why he's on the antibiotics. He's on them, which prevented that from happening. So I'm trying to look at it that way, but I'm just being real. The, the human tired mom side of me is just a little bit annoyed that there's no infection right now. And for the next still like four weeks of our lives, this is where we're at. <laughs> okay, I'm being grumpy. I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn it around. I'm also grumpy we have to take the Christmas tree down today, okay? I like looking at it. Anyways, the plan for today, you guys really like this pill trick, by the way. Well, not all of you, but some people found it beneficial. But the plan for today is just a lot of housework. I think, so the reason why Sebastian is still in our room, I don't know how long and most of you have been here, but when we first moved in that first week, there was a really bad windstorm, like 80 miles per hour. And one of the windows, the exterior window in Sebastian's room actually fell out. It like fell out from the second floor onto the ground, shattered for the most part, but they were able to like put it in and secure it with like plywood or plastic or whatever. But the reason he hasn't been sleeping in his room is because we have to get the windows replaced in there. And with insurance, you know how that goes, it's been two months and still nothing has come from it. However, it is properly sealed. That room is sealed and warm. It's just as warm as the other bedrooms. So what I think we may actually do today is set Sebastian's room up or at least put his crib in there. There's no draft, do you know what I mean? Like the room is fine. So we are gonna get a thermometer, I think, and just like a room temperature thermometer and just make sure that the room stays at a good um, temperature. But yeah, I think we're gonna put him in his room and start getting ready to like just settle in. We, we've been living here for two months and we are just not settled in and it, it's just time. Um, the other thing that Gio wants to do is like replace outlet covers and the um, vent covers on the walls and just like little stuff that we haven't been able to do, we are gonna do that today. So that's like our game plan for today, so long as Sebastian allows. <laughs> it's like we're on, on right on the edge of like, not on the edge, we are at the point of where we're ready to move into our house, but each room has something that needs to be done before we can do that. Like we're living out of boxes, all of our clothes in the very back spare bedroom because the closet needs to be painted. And Sebastian's sleeping in our room and we haven't put up his new crib because the wall or because the windows need to be replaced. And we can't clean out that back room because there's like a hole in the roof that attaches to there that has to be fixed. But that also goes through insurance. And then the room still has to be painted. <laughs> I just want to live in this house. I just want to live here. You know? <laughs> anyway, with all of that being said, everyone always laughs because I always say that, but it's true. With all of that being said, how much of a blessing it is right now to be complaining about this stuff in my own home. Three weeks ago, I was complaining about being in the hospital and just wanting to be home. So in my opinion, all these little house things and stressors and things that are annoying me, I'm thankful for them because at least we're home. Last night, Sebastian was restless, but at least he was home. At least I was able to hold him and he wasn't like restless in a hospital bed looking for us. You know what I mean? This is me trying to turn it around. I'm trying to turn it around right now because it's getting dark quick. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, at least we're home. We got a lot of housework stuff to do. And Sebastian is doing great. He's doing really good. We've got the meds on board. The one on the end there, the red one, is his antibiotic. I don't know why my camera is trying to be super cool and focus like that. Um, but that's the antibiotic. And then we've got the folic acid, his Keppra, which is his seizure medication, iron on the end there. And then this very last one is a flush. Look, it's trying to focus on Zeus. Zeusy? Zeusy? What a ronin? <laughs> And then of course we have his big bulb here. So let's get the antibiotics on board. And then unfortunately, Gio says the Christmas tree's gotta come down. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hey little boy, what you doing over here? 
Mr. No Sleep, huh? Team No Sleep? He's grinding his teeth, which makes me think that he needs to go to the bathroom. Whenever he's a little bit, I wouldn't say constipated, because he's been, even though he's on all this medication, his bowel movements have been great. On schedule, normal, like no issues. But the fact that he was up all night last night, and now he's awake this morning and kind of grindy and hear that? Terrible. Um, makes me think that he needs to go a little bit potty. So hopefully, hopefully he gets that moving soon. Put this ugly one down the chute first. Oh my goodness, Sebastian, you're gonna make me have to talk this whole entire time about nothing so they don't hear you grinding your teeth. I'm so sorry for anybody that is listening and hearing that noise. I know it's awful. Oh my gosh, Sebastian, please, sweetheart. What, can you feel that medicine going in your belly? Hey, hey, why are you grinding? It's okay. A little air bubble in that one. Make sure we don't get that in your belly. And we'll do a nice flush of water. He's already had a full feed, so his belly is nice and full. So I'm not giving him all this medication on an empty, empty belly. He's all good. Last night we used the red one, so this morning I'm going to use the purple one. I like to obviously switch off on them. So both of the lines are staying nice and clear. You okay? Doing a lot of teeth grinding. Yeah. What's up with that? You gotta go potty? Huh? It's okay. Good job. Ooh, I think you're pushing. Yeah. Good boy. Unclamp the mat over here. There we go. 30 minutes. I do 30 minutes, okay? Look at him shoving that blanket in his mouth. We laugh about that all the time. It's just, I mean, sometimes it gets a little much. We have to take it out. But he just loves chewing. Hey, try not to put the whole thing in there. Can I have the... <laughs> Hey, come on, it's too much. We gotta get you some, let me go find your glove. That's a safe thing for you to chew on. Let me go find it. While Sebastian gets his antibiotic, I'm gonna start on that. Bye Christmas tree. Look at this, our outlet is still exposed. It was behind the Christmas tree, so maybe we forgot about it. And this is also one of the other bad windows on the house. That was broken and we're waiting on insurance to get it fixed. There's actually no breeze over here. It's the exterior window that's broken, but awesome. <laughs> Put my gorgeous cactus in this corner. What do you think? I mean, she's dying, but she dies every winter and then she comes back every summer. Zeus, why you smell that? I think it looks okay. Let me see. You know, the room as a whole, still have to put the Christmas tree away. We gotta get some stuff up on the walls, but I think it looks good there. <laughs> it, may, it may get moved. I think someone's gonna take a nap, finally. Okay, I've cleaned the floors a little bit. I think the cactus looks nice there. It always takes me a really long time to decide if I like something where it's at, but I think we're looking okay. I think this little guy's gonna take a nap, and I'm gonna go grab a shower. So we'll check in in a little bit. It'll only be a minute for you guys, but probably a couple hours for us. Hello? She was just talking. Only when I talk, she wants to talk. Nala? What are you doing? What are you doing? Good girl. Good girl. Hello. 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 What are you doing? Good girl. Aww. What are you doing? 
Huh? You want snacks? I think she just said I want snacks. Hello? Look at your beak is so messy. You are a good girl. Believe it or not, Sebastian is still sleeping. It's almost one o'clock, so I'm gonna have to wake him up soon. Gio's on his way home from the gym. Look at my hair. Good Lord, that's okay. Gio's on his way home from the gym. I have a feeling that he bought salmon for dinner today or lunch, whatever. That midday meal, like four o'clock meal. Nala still has not stopped talking. So I'm getting ready to prep some Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts asparagus, and white rice. He asked if we had lemon, lemon pepper seasoning. Gosh, I can't talk. He asked if we had the lemon pepper seasoning from Aldi. So I know he got salmon, which is fine. I love salmon. So anyway, I'm going to prep that really quick. Do a cup of rice in the rice cooker. Very simple, easy rice cooker. Just me and Gio, but I'm gonna cook quite a bit of asparagus because Nala seems to really like cooked asparagus as well. We also found out the other day, believe it or not, that she likes um, scrambled eggs. So funny, so random. I love Brussels sprouts. There's a blueberry in my Brussels sprout. Strange. Um, yeah, she loves scrambled eggs, and I made sure to Google that it was safe for her, and it is. It's actually a really good source of protein for her. Um, and I love Brussels sprouts. Gio does not, but since I'm cooking, I'm making what I want to. You know what I'm saying? This always makes me nervous. Nervous. Whoa. Is it what? gonna do salt on my Brussels sprouts um, but I think I'll do a little bit of lemon pepper on the asparagus okay. a little bit of salt Maybe a little bit of salt on these just a little bit of the lemon pepper I got this from um, Aldi if you have an Aldi by you oh <laughs> it's brand new yeah, if you have an Aldi by you, um, this seasoning is so good if you like salmon. I mean, I guess you could put it on like chicken too, but on top of salmon, yum. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic salt, also from Aldi, on my Brussels sprouts. Why not? And then the rice is very, very plain. It's just plain jasmine rice. So I am gonna add some salt in there. Just so there's a little bit of a little bit of flavor when they're done. All right. Oh, I hate plugging things into outlets. Okay, it takes like 20 minutes. And then the asparagus and the Brussels, gorgeous. I'm just gonna set them in the oven until we're ready, ready to bake. Very good. I'll show you the salmon when I cook it too. <laughs> what are you doing? So I was right, Gio got salmon, but he also got ground chicken and we're actually having pork chops for lunch, not salmon for lunch. See, but that's okay. What are you doing in there? What was that birdie doing? Sebastian just woke up. Look what dad got him from the store. Ow! Broccoli soup for you. Quit biting me. She just can't get out. What do you want? What you making there? Chile serrano <laughs> with some uh, zucchini. zucchini, but it's Mexican zucchini. I didn't know there was a white and a Mexican zucchini.
Those are what they look like. They're called calabacitas. Oh, seriously? Oh, I yeah. thought you were joking. No. I didn't know there was a difference. It's gonna be spicy? The serrano, I mean, I don't know. Did you either it's hit or miss? <laughs> hey, little boy. Not happy about sitting in his chair, but look, we got some soupy. to get very loud because when Gio was home and he's in Nala's eyesight um, she will just not stop screeching until Gio picks her up which he does go and pick her up but he's trying to cook right now so she can't be by the heat so it's gonna get loud in here is that so good is that delicious yeah. oh my oh my say thank you dad Thank you. He's so big in his chair. He's so cute. Here. Good boy. <whistles> Yummy. Good boy. Wow. <whistles> Careful. You make a mess. What are you saying? Good job. Oh, <laughs> gonna have some dessert. <laughs> Here. He loves the animals. He's so funny with these yogurts. <laughs> I like sweet. You got a sweet tooth? What? Maybe let me know when you're ready. Not ready. <laughs> Do you see it? Nala. Nala. Goodness gracious, it's like a zoo in here. We're gonna scratch the salmon for now. Gio decided on pork chops. And these are his zucchinis he's making. And we've got rice and also my veggies in the oven. I'll have to, whoa. I'll just show you guys how I make this salmon another day. Maybe tomorrow, cause I'm not cooking it today. Lunch brought to you by Gio, except for the Brussels sprouts. And he said that his zucchinis were way, way too spicy, so I didn't get any. They look very, very delicious though. Gio wanted me to tell you, and I'm sure somebody would ask, let's be real. The plates and the forks are from Amazon. So if you like them, please excuse the bird. She's on level 25 today. Nala! The plates um, and the, the forks are from Amazon. So I'll link those if you like the way they look. Sebastian's over there watching Fairly Odd Parents. We just, he just finished up his broccoli and his oak. Um, yogurt, so we're gonna eat really quick. Gio had enough, we had enough meals left over um, for Gio to have two meals to bring to work tomorrow, so I don't have to cook the rest of the day besides dinner later, which is perfect. And Gio is already in work mode. We're going through all the switches and stuff. We have an electrician coming out tomorrow. See that white outlet? And that white outlet. See how the other ones are black? And that white outlet. <laughs> the, he's coming over tomorrow to finish all of the electrical work, so Gio's kind of going through all of that now. And then we're going to put the new vents on. In the meantime, I feel like you guys haven't been able to see Sebastian as much, but he's so sleepy today. I don't know why. We tried to, like, play with him and stimulate him, and he just wasn't having it. He didn't even want to eat his broccoli soup, so I think he's just having a sleepy day. But if you remember how when I started this video, I told you he didn't sleep at all last night. That's probably why. So he's watching TV, and we're going to be working on the outlets close to him. And then Gio eventually is going to go in the garage and work on his car. So I think that might be it. <laughs> Big bombs. <laughs> oh my God. He's zooming through here. <laughs> oh no, focus first car accident. 
Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh! That pillow's perfect in there. <laughs> Get the steering wheel! <laughs> driving. Whoa, picking up some speed. Coming around the corner. Oh my goodness. Look at the headlights, you guys. There you go, Dad. Oh my gosh. Beep, beep. <laughs> We still have so much stuff to do, so I'm going to cut it here so I can get this video edited. And we'll check in tomorrow. We're going to set up Sebastian's bedroom, so we'll show you that. Well, we're going to get it started. So we'll show you that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> See you later!